getting stronger. My name is the sky. I do the impossible, impossible. Shine if I want to. I win every time if I want to. The world mine if I want to. Make the world mine cause I want to. Hey, I pull the sword out the border, walk a floor full of cobras. Go to war with you all, we can brawl toe to toe. I can tighten loops in my lace and make lightning lose in a race. I make fire cool and come back from the triangle and from Utah. I can suit up, living the moon up, working and outsmarting computers. I can outswim all the tuna, and that's without a scuba. Yeah. So in the laws of nature, I'm breaking the rules. Only thing I'm bad at is being a loser. Hey, I can make time travel a surprise. Make graveyards feel alive. Break the immortal down to his demise. Look up and beam to the stars so you can turn off the lights. I come alive in the dark. And I keep getting stronger. Tonight I hunt with the pride. You can't take my pride away. I can sing with the birds and the trees in the morning. Or roll like the stars way over the ocean. My limb is the sky. I do the impossible, impossible. Shine if I want to. I win every time if I want to. The world mine if I want to. Make the world mine cause I want to. Even on the days when I'm late as ever, my time is right. Even in the darkest moments, they close on their shine. I can make an earthquake nervous. I can make the sun wear a visor. I can be a loser. I can make time travel a surprise. Make graveyards feel alive. Break the immortal down to his demise. I make the moon blue. I'm making pigs fly. NFL on EA Sports and we are in the Pacific Northwest at Lumen Field in Seattle, Washington. Today we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. Here's the kicker Jason Myers to get this one started and off we go from Seattle. Taken at the 15 a short kick. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Jumbo package to start the drive. They start on the ground with McCaffrey, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Got a man. That's Ayuk. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards there and a Niner first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. 
Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Touchdown! They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum. But you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. to start the drive and he'll manage to pick up about four it's second down To throw on second and six, Smith. Walker with a grab, left side. Short completion, just four yards. And this will wind up being a third and three. They'll try for the first with Walker. A great effort there to shed the contact, and it helps him pick up the first. It's a pickup of six. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Back to throw, Smith. Flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. In motion, the tight end. Slot man moves right. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. Open man. That's Noah Fant, the tight end. And this will move the chains again as the tackle is going to be made at the 49ers 44 yard line. Now Gino on first down. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this is caught on the sideline. 
But no, they'll say out of bounds. He caught it, but was not in bounds. Incomplete. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. 60 Vices, 60 Vices, 60 Maverick, 60 Maverick. 19 tight, 19 tight. Come 19, come 19. Geno now to throw. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. They've given him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Smith throwing again. He's got his tight end fan. And he's going to be forced out of bounds inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively, and then they got hit with that big play. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Tiger, 19 Tiger. 18 Cardinal, 18 Cardinal. After 1-7-0, Audi Sports. Gino. This is caught. Touchdown, Seahawks. Ken Walker from four yards out. And the Seahawks are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point up and through by Myers. And we are tied at seven. Team's had it. Each team has scored. 7 7 here as the kick's away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. <laughs> they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of... Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Tariq Rillen picks it. And the Seahawks are going to take over here up near the 40. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. And he comes up with the interception there. And some space here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Back to Walker on first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. On second down, it's Walker. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Smith. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us, well, we've got third and five or less. We have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. 79 Broncos. 
On fourth down, Smith. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Pete Carroll rolled the dice, but it didn't work out. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. On second and 15 now. Lance, and he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses. Catch the ball. How much yards can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. He'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Off of play action, and here's Lance. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On the move to his left. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 to first. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football party. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Second down and right back to McCaffrey. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. They'll run with Mitchell, and he is going to lose yardage here. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Back at the two now, here's second and goal. Throwing now is Lance. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. They certainly didn't like what he saw all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety belt. Give defense the credit. Covered was in lockdown mode everywhere. They'll try to run with Mitchell. No gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. 
This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Does it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. Lance and company going on fourth down. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the 49ers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a first down throw, it's Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And got his man complete. And he's going to get this down near the 25. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. The Seahawks trailing, but they will have possession first here as we resume action in the third quarter. A fairly short kick from the 14. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is Geno. Throw out wide to Walker. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. To throw is Smith. Escaping the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. From the gun, it's Walker. And they'll stop him after a gain of a couple to the 33. Throwing on third down, Smith. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A couple of first downs on the drive already. As they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They'll fake it. Now Smith. They'll fire one downfield for Fant. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. 
It's a big play there for Seattle. 45 yards. I'm pretty sure any quarterback will tell you it's nice to have a tight end that can stretch the field. And how about him right there, working in the heart of the defense, and they connect on a very nice play downfield. A combination of talent and toughness to go into the Briar Patch. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Play action. It's Smith. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Marquise Goodwin from six yards away. And the Seahawks are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Myers connects on the PAT. And we are tied at 14. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Ready. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out, execute their game plan, and keep moving. And they faked the handoff. Now Lance. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. It's been a struggle for him accruing yards in this game, passing the football. So there he said, hey, I'm going to try to chuck it deep, but another incompletion. Has to be a little bit frustrating because of what you just described. It's been a struggle for him here in the second half, hoping for one big shot to get him out of the doldrums. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. McCaffrey on the counter. And he's got some space here. That good for 19 and a first down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. 40 yards on the ground for him so far. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards the pick up, first down. They were not fooling around at all. Were they second and short? And they brought out that heavy package. Almost like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. On first down, they go back to Mitchell, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Boye Mafe got through the line like a knife through butter. He buries him for a loss. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Lance throwing out wide for Samuel, and he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. The goal of the wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Throwing his lance on third down. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 25-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. And yeah, not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. 
Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Ready, ready. On second down, McCaffrey. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. The Lance fighting Debo there for the Niner first. That time the conversion comes courtesy of the RPO. And know what it did? It moved the sticks. Nice pickup on third down. Even better decision. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Lance looking to throw. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Now they send a man in motion right. First down, here's Mitchell. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Elijah Mitchell punching it in from a yard away. And the Niners answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Important extra point up and through. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Eluding the pressure right. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. He broke that line of scrimmage and then let it fly, and that's an automatic flag. Yeah, and you know, you don't just lose the five yards there, but you lose it down as well. So he obviously needs that better awareness about what he's going to do. Either tuck it and go, or throw it to a target and get that pass away. Smith. Gets this to Fan. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 27 yards there, a first down. Now Smith. Oh, and that's going to be a costly one. It's intercepted. Picked by a man.
I'm really, really out for blood this time, look. I just came back for the win. Lot of new money in my hand. Go on, tell a friend, tell a friend. They say success is the best revenge. Heard they was sleeping again, say no more. This is a rude awakening, kicking the door. Back and I'm better than ever before. Don't get it mistaken, I'm ready for war. I see the ice and I'm up in the score. I catch up and then jump in the pause. Follow the core and I'm back to the morgue. Take the sheet off and I some more. When I'm your done at the scene, I won't leave anything. You won't even know who was involved. Don't let me do it, cause I overdo it and do it till I cannot do it no more. All that the data is I'm proving them wrong. Back with the classic, I know it's been long. Had it was missing me while I was gone. I smell the victory back up on time and it's where I belong. Back at it to me, we make it history, fall through the misery, weather the storm. Can't let them get to me, no weapon form. Surprise, my arm be all over my vibes, the pen I got options. I keep it right on the dress and next to the eyes, still applying pressure. Somebody stop us. Applying pressure, somebody stop us. Running my class, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I just came back for the win. Lot of new money in my head. Go on, tell a 